Webinar and video conferencing software are normally very expensive. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a webinar or a video conference by using a free software. And when I say free, it doesn't mean it's a spammy software. It is state of the art industry standard software called Canvas Instructure, which is a learning management system. And this has an integration with another open source software called Big Blue Button. You have to open just a free teacher's account with Canvas and you will be able to have this video conference. In a webinar, normally only one person is presenting, but in a video conference, every participant can present. And this is a step-by-step -step training in which I will show you how to arrange this video conference by using Canvas conferences and how you can make presentations. But if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. So we have a lot to cover. So after this short break, I will jump on my computer and I will show you my screen. If you want to teach online classes, then this video is for you because in this video, I will show you how you can have a video conference with your students online by using Canvas learning management system and big blue button, which is an open source conferencing system. And this is designed for online learning. You need to have a Canvas account as a teacher and I have logged into my account where I have two courses and a course template. And by using one of my courses, I will show you how we can create video conferences with our students. The first thing you need to do is click on the course and make sure that this course is in between its start and end dates because in order to be able to arrange these video conferences online, this course must be a current course and you arrange those dates in this settings area. So click on settings and this is the start date of this course and this is end date of this course. So I am within this date so I can arrange conferences. Now click on conferences on the left hand side and now there are two different areas, new conferences and concluded conferences. And in concluded conferences, I have a conference which I had recently with one of my colleagues and I will show you the highlights of this conference in this video uh, in order to demonstrate some of the features. But in order to start a new conference, you need to click on this plus conference button. And when I click on this, now I can give this conference a name. So let us say I give this conference two. The best way to give a name is if, for example, there are two uh, students or two people in this conference, just put the names of both of them. If there are four students, you can put the names of all four of your students. So you can easily find out later on which conference you want to have a look if needed. Now, this is the button which is available due to this big blue button open source company. Uh, they have collaboration with Canvas LMS and they provide us this conferencing system. Now you can change the duration of the conference, but uh, I am happy with 60 minutes. And if you want to record this conference and most probably you should, then you must click this button. And the second action you need to do is click the start recording button, which will appear later on at some stage. So these are the two actions required to record a conference. Then you can put a little bit description if you want. Now here at the bottom, you have to check this box and it will invite all course members to this conference. It will send a notification in their emails. And now when I click update, this notification will be sent to all the people in this course. And those can be seen by clicking on this people if you want. So let's click update. And now this is conference two in the new conferences area. And I have a start button. And when I will finish this conference, I will have an end button. And if I click on end button, this conference will move to the concluded conference. Sometime it takes a little bit time if you are recording the conference. And now let's start this conference. If I click on start, now I will see this screen 
and it says how would you like to join the audio i can turn on my microphone or i can join the conference in listen only mode so in this instance let us click on microphone you have to allow the access if uh, this is your first conference and now it's a audio test because i am able to hear my voice so i will say yes and i will get a message that you are currently the only person in this conference and now the conference has been started there are many tools available here in this conference and some of those features i want to show you now so on the left hand side you have this public chat box where all the students participating in this video conference are able to put their messages or any questions on the right hand side you have these icons and if i click on this hand i have some tools available here i can click on this pencil tool to write on the whiteboard and that is available here or if i click on slide 2 this slide left blank for whiteboard and now i can select this tool and i can explain anything if i want so this is one of the tools available and i can change the colors or i can delete all my annotations so if i click delete this will be deleted so now you can explain to your students some concepts here if you want to share your webcam you can do this by clicking on this button and i will again show this feature uh, in a minute and then this is the way you can share your screen and if you click on this button there are three different options available entire screens it means that whatever i see you will see the whole screen or i can open any particular application and then i can select the application window and from here i can select if any application is open or i can click on chrome tab and i can even open a new tab and then start using my screen now if i do that then i will not be able to see this area because i will be using my screen but other participant will see my screen inside this area so i will just cancel this at the moment now here if i click on my name on the left hand side i can set the status and in order to start recording this is the second action you have to perform so you click on start recording and then it will show you this message and then you can say yes and now the recording starts in order to share the webcam just click on here and if i click here now it will find my webcam and then now i can start sharing if i want so let's say start sharing and now my webcam is here when someone else will join this conference another webcam will appear then you can arrange either at the top or you can arrange at the bottom by just dragging them like this you can mute yourself you can close this public chat window if you need more space now let us put our presentation in this area in order to do that i have to click on this plus on the lower left corner and now i have this option upload presentation and now i can browse the file let's browse a file somewhere on my computer i click on one of my presentations and open and now i click upload it is showing me the uploading progress here and now this is my presentation and i have the options to make presentation full screen or fit to width so normally you will do this fit to width option and now you have a large area now if i want to scroll down i have to select this hand tool and now i can scroll down on this slide so this is how you can present anything to your students uh, if they share their webcam you will be able to see them as well so for team collaborations uh, this is a very good tool uh, normally the webinar tools cost a lot of money now when i want to stop the recording i just click on pause recording and then yes and now i can resume the recording if i want now if i click on this uh, minus button uh, my presentation will become hidden and only the webcam one or more webcam will be shown so let's click here and now as you can see uh, only my webcam is showing so in order to see bigger videos you can do this now in order to restore the presentation i click on this uh, blue button at the lower right corner and my presentation will be shown here so let us stop sharing the webcam and now i have more area to present my lesson 
So normally you don't show the webcam, but uh, this feature is available. Uh, if you need to talk to student and just explain the concepts, you don't need any video, but you can have this. Now one of my colleague has joined this conference as you can see here. So if I click here, I have the option to make this person as a presenter. And if I click make presenter, then this person will be uh, able to see these tools because this plus sign the action tool is not available to this person until I make this as a presenter. So this way uh, you can make presenter one by one. Uh, if there are three students, you can make them a presenter one after another and they will be able to present their presentations as well. If you don't want to do this again and again, you can promote them to moderator. And if I promote this person to moderator, then this person will be able to make himself a presenter whenever he wishes to do so. And there will be a button on his panel, take presenter. Instead of make presenter, uh, this button will be take presenter and this person will be able to uh, present and will be able to see these tools which are available for presenter, this action tool at the bottom left. And now as you can see that uh, Ahmed and uh, myself, we both are sharing our webcams. So in this way, you can share this with uh, your students if you wish to do so. And uh, now we can arrange them. And if you click on this uh, minus button on the right corner of your presentation, your presentation will become hidden and now we have both webcams at a uh, larger size. So this is how you can uh, see each other if you want at any stage uh, during your presentation. So in order to go back uh, to your presentation, you just click on restore presentation, uh, a blue button at the lower right corner, and now again, uh, your presentation will be uh, visible. If you click at the border of these two areas, presentation and your uh, webcam areas you can actually you can actually drag this to increase the size or decrease the size of the presentation or the webcam. So this is how you can uh, take lectures online with your students. Uh, normally these software are very expensive. Uh, webinar software if, if you look on Google you will find that these software are normally $70 to maybe $300 per month. But we have this amazing functionality available uh, for free uh, by using Canvas, LMS and Big Blue Button. So thanks to these two companies uh, who offer this fantastic uh, facility to online tutors and teachers. So if you teach online, uh, this is a fantastic tool to have. Now in order to end this meeting, you click on these three dots and end meeting and yes. And then you can read this if you want and send feedback. Now if I click on conferences, so this is our new conference. And in order to end this conference, I have to click this end. And if I click end, it will show me this message. You will not be able to reopen and I say okay. And now this conference has moved to concluded conferences. And after some time, uh, the recording link will appear here. Currently, this is not clickable, but after some time, it will become clickable just like this one. And if I click here and then on this presentation, if I click on this arrow, I will be able to see this conference. So if I click here, it will show the recording of the conference. This is the recording of our first conference and I can even play this recording. So if I click on these two arrows and then click on this area in this area. Now, as you can see that this is the recording of my uh, previous uh, conference. And in order to download, you click on this and then right click and you will have this option save video as and if I click here, now I have the option to save this file as an mp4 file. Cancel this. So this is how you can save this file as well. Let's close this. Now after some time I reloaded this page and now this conference link is clickable and now I can watch the video of this meeting or I can download it as I have already shown you by using my previous conference. So this is it for this video. I hope now you understand how to have a video conference with your online students. But if I have missed anything or any feature, please put in the discussion area 
and I will definitely answer your question. So I hope that you like this video and if so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.